Hey guys, Shane Storms with DroidMotorX.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to root the new Nexus 7. This is a 2013 edition. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. This is the manual method. You'll need to have your bootloader unlocked first, so I'll be sure to include a link in the description on how to unlock the bootloader. Once you've done that, we're simply going to flash the recovery, Team Win Recovery Project. We're going to boot into Team Win Recovery Project and flash SuperUser.su. This is the modified version of SuperUser by Chainfire that actually works on Android 4.3. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is head to the link in the description, uh, which will bring you to this page here where you can download the Super SU uh, from Chainfire. Like I said, this is the updated version that works with 4.3. And make sure that that is on your SD card, your internal SD card. It should be in your download folder. Okay, once we've done that, you'll need to head to the link in the description to download the Team Win Recovery Project image and go ahead and uh, drop that into your SDK, your platform tools folder, wherever you have your fastboot.exe, your adb.exe, excuse me, adb.exe files located. We'll go ahead and do that now. Before we go to the computer, we'll go ahead and boot into the bootloader. So we're going to power off the device. Okay, so to get into the bootloader mode, we're going to hold volume up and down and power. Okay, so to get into the bootloader, it's actually volume down and power to get into this screen, and then we'll go ahead and plug up our device to the PC. Now, your Windows PC should go ahead and install drivers automatically. If you've unlocked the bootloader, your drivers are already installed, and we'll go on and head to the computer for the rest of the process. So I'll go ahead and provide the link in the description to the Team Win Recovery download page. Once this file is downloaded, uh, we'll go ahead and find that file. We'll drag and drop that into our Platform Tools folder. And then we'll open a command prompt from the platform tool. So shift, right click, shift, right click, open command window here. Okay, so we should go ahead and copy the name of the recovery here. And then we'll go back to our command prompt. And we're just going to type fast boot. Flash recovery and then we'll paste the name of the recovery dot IMG proofread which you type fast boot flash recovery open recovery twerp 2.6.0.0 dash flow dot image we'll go ahead and select enter that is flashing the recovery Okay, so next we're going to go ahead and reboot into recovery. So we'll scroll down to recovery mode and select that with the power button. That should boot us into Team Win Recovery Project. Okay, from here we'll simply go to install. We'll find that super SU file in the download folder. There it is. We'll go ahead and select that and swipe to flash. Now we're completely finished. We're rooted we'll go ahead and reboot the system as soon as it boots up we'll go ahead and test our root and make sure that we are in fact rooted so now that we're all booted back up we'll go ahead and open up the root checker and verify that we do have root access and you see it is asking for super we know that we do have root access we'll go ahead and grant that it says congratulations this device has root access so that has been the quick and easy manual method for rooting the new Nexus 7. This is the 2013 edition. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. That helps me more than you know. Subscribe to this channel for future videos like this. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com. We'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.